Gus Dapperton has become an important musical sensation to many. His unique synths and lyrical smoothies have cemented themselves as severely catchy tunes, but the look and sound of Gus Dapperton is not the most ordinary and has certainly caught people off guard. Gus emerged into the music scene as a young producer for his rapper friends during high school. He became increasingly infatuated by songwriting, spending as much time as he could to create music, but not without conflict. Growing up in a small town in upstate New York proved to create minor inconveniences for Gus's outlandish personality. He described it as a place where people lack support and non-stimulating teaching practices would lead to the suppression of kids' creativity. He often felt out of place and disregarded in his closed-minded town, but fortunately was welcomed by other outcasts such as his skater and rapper friends. During 8th grade, his class was challenged to write and perform a song as a mandatory activity, a task that would intimidate even the bravest of people, if we're being honest. But Gus was more than determined to put his all into the assignment. Surprise, surprise. Gus Dapperton, or then known as Brendan Rice, won the contest and got featured on his town's radio station. What seems like a small accomplishment very well could have been the confirmation Brendan needed to kick off his musical career. Following his humble beginnings in school, he would often produce for some of his rapper friends under the alias of Spazzy McGee for a short period of time. But during high school, he had the unfortunate time of tearing his ACL on his meniscus, resulting in a month absence of school, which happened to be the same time he lost much of his music due to his Mac crashing. To add to his trauma, his ex-girlfriend started dating one of his close friends. While his friends went out, Brendan stayed home, creating music and pursuing what made him happy. There it was, just the flick of a switch, and I kinda understood reality more. And I was at that moment, anything good amplified how happy I could be. So much because I was such in this deep dark pit, so any little bit of happiness was just amplified. So I guess I just realized, it was the inconvenience of being yourself that is more rewarding, and you have to go through unpleasurable times for there to be pleasurable things. Gus is further quoted to say, This is what I want to do the rest of my life. Cut to present, and we have an odd character that sports an always color changing bowl cut, colorful makeup, oversized vintage clothes, and a polished dangling earring. The name Gus Dapperton has become synonymous with this description, and of course is amateur dancing. This over-the-top exotic style is often critiqued by many for being inauthentic or being too much, but this negative sentiment wouldn't even come close to stopping Gus from making music that everyone loves. When Gus began attending Drexel University's music program in Pennsylvania, he began to release some of his songs. Gus, who had already had doubts about furthering his education, would come to his assumed conclusion that school just isn't for him. He may not be able to read music, but he is able to make songs that sound good to him and his thousands of fans. Gus Dapperton's first album, Yellow and Such, would become a cult hit finding much of its success on YouTube, largely due to the millions of views on his music video, I'm Just Snacking, and his other single, Mudana with Grace. The album Yellow and Such is a cautionary tale about heartache and heartbreak. I'm Just Snacking tells the story of two individuals who ultimately have the same ideas and values in regards to popularity, fame, and fortune. Yet, the two souls have trouble finding peace being with each other. As the protagonist attempts at persuading this girl to find themselves in a relationship together is unsuccessful because her excuse is that it's just natural that they be with other people, and that's why they can't be together. The music video accompanied by the story reveals Gus's character as someone who is just snacking, as the title would suggest. And of course, it wouldn't be Gus Dapperton if he wasn't prancing around in a brightly colored jacket with painted nails. 
From Gus Dapperton's sound to his look and style, they aren't meant to follow trends or to be unorthodox for the sake of being different, but instead are meant to harken back to his childhood, where the clothes were too big. His dad played David Bowie, the Beach Boys, Bruce Springsteen, 50 Cent, the Beatles, and the innocence of knowing no evil was the driving force of being a child. Gus has explained time and time again that the inconvenience of being yourself is more rewarding than the convenience of being who you are expected to be. Gus not only prides himself in being a bit different, but also in expressing his creativity, which is part of the reason he acts the way he does. If you haven't noticed, Gus is a unique stylist, often inspired by different sets of colors, his first album being inspired by primary colors. His most recent album, You Think You're a Comic, is where Gus Dapperton's creativity really blossomed. Taking a look at Gus's most viral video to date, Prune, You Talk Funny, it's apparent a lot of effort goes into these music videos. From all of the people dressed in bowl cuts, to the coordination of colors and dancing, I continue to find myself thoroughly entertained by every piece of art Gus creates. His songs are so full of meaning, and yet they're so poetic and beautiful. His music videos have their own style, and are full of intricate details and lessons. Rather than being an artist who conforms to what is popular and appealing the majority of people, he is himself in every aspect possible. Although the lesson of being yourself is a classic cliche, it's something that is not stressed enough, especially in a society like the one Gus grew up in. If there is one thing I hope you take away from this video, is don't morph yourself into someone you're not. Trying to please everyone will never work. So be true to yourself and you'll find happiness and people who actually care. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe if you want to. And I couldn't be more grateful. I didn't think my first video back would get 300,000 views and I'd amass like 9,000 subscribers. So, thank you, because that was kind of insane. And yes, I am sick. And yes, I do have a Patreon if you would like to support the channel. I will be adding a Discord soon, so you can have a role. Hopefully, a video in less than a month. Thank you all. Goodbye.